It's nine something in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I didn't go back to bed. Um, but something pretty interesting happened this morning when I was in the process of figuring out why in God's green gable um, I have to be one of those messengers up on call, dude. That's why I love the song Calling All Angels, because when he blows that whistle for me to get up, sometimes I just, I, I, I've gotten to the point where I realize before I even start to try to negotiate, <laughs> he's calling on me, and uh, very few people are willing to make that kind of sacrifice for God. They'll either put money in a collection plate or post a bunch of stuff online about this scripture and that scripture, which I'm getting sick of, quite frankly. Get off your ass and do something's my philosophy. Whatever, you know. But, um, made a couple phone calls. And what it is is basically a demonstration of what I've done for seven years. I don't think that there's anybody on the face of this earth that has been hung up on <laughs> if you collectively take every telemarketer and all of the calls that they've ever made and combine them then you're probably in the zone of how many times I have literally been hung up on for one reason and one reason only I identify myself and then I say my name's Angela Arnett and I'm with Jesus right now we click hi my name's Angela Arnett and I'm with Jesus right now click Prayer lines hung up. Prayer lines! Prayer lines. Um, hi, I'm, my name's Angela Arnett. I'm, I'm with Jesus Christ right now, and no, you're not. Huh? Um, what is he sitting by your bed? That was actually a call that back in the day, if I would have had my video camera, psh, you see, for a long time, it boiled down to me having a cassette tape, not even a digital, an old school cassette tape dictation recorder to record everything that I wanted sound on. And it's going to take a long time to go through and convert those tapes into a format that will fit the whole computer thing. And it's just like unbelievable the way people claim on one hand to be this warrior of God and Jesus or you know oh, I'm so devout and oh blood of the lamb and fall on their face kinda whatever but doesn't really do anything productive anyway so yeah I sound a little bitter this morning because it's nine something I was up at 246 and I'm just I'm running out of freaking fumes. It's it's gotten to the point where I need help. And when I say I need help, I ain't talking mental health. I'm not talking mental health. I'm talking just in general with all of these projects and all of the things that my comas and I woke up and remembered this and I'm working on new scripts now, but the bottom line is, is it's going to be a long day for the Angemeister and it started off this morning at 3-something with a couple phone calls that I hope you enjoy. Leave your name, telephone number, including area code, and a message at the tone, and we will return your call as soon as possible. Again, thank you for calling Icon Productions. Hey Mel, I'm filming this. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I'm making a video of my recording to you, and I'm filming, actually the camera's panned on the, um, the phone. Um, anyway, I wanted to let you know I had called before to let you know there's some videos that are going on, but whoa, do I have some information for you, buddy? And I'll be putting it on Facebook, so tell all your friends in Tinseltown. It's all good. Ange Meister's here to save the day. Anyway, I, I did some research about, uh, you know, if you're going to deal with the Hollywood industry, you need to send a synopsis or whatever, whatever, with a self-addressed envelope to them and wait a month to see if you hear from them and then, you know, do this and that and the other. I got the skivvy on how it works, but I don't work that way and neither does God. So it's an unorthodox relationship filled with idiosyncratic whatevers. And I'm just sharing all of this and unloading it all while I'm here. 
and uh, hope you guys are doing well. Look forward to hearing from you. You got my number. <laughs> Gibson. <laughs> what a kooky little guy. Hey, is this Johnny? No, this is Dave. Dave! Oh my gosh, I dialed the wrong number! <laughs> uh, it was no coincidence. I'm the chick that called to ask your shoe size that day. Do you remember me? Oh yeah, you're kind of weird. <laughs> hey, I've got my cameras rolling right now, so be nice, Charlie. Um, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. You know what? That's so funny because you crossed my mind last night. I've been, uh, I have had a gift pack that I wanted to send you for a while. Remember I said I would send you something? Yeah. Um, but I didn't, I didn't have an address because the only, uh, on the website for the Jed, it just lists the Aberdeen, Aberdeen address. So are you in California or in Texas I'm, or? I'm broadcasting out of Denver. Denver. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. All right. So yeah. Dave. So who, so um, who is this? Angela, I'm sorry. Oh, Angela. Okay. Yeah, yeah and, uh, producer. Was, was that one of those uh, dreams that, you know, what I'm talking about? <laughs> you would be surprised at what's been going on lately. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay. So, um, I don't know. We better not talk about any more of this on the air. Hey, I got to ask you a question. Go ahead. How far would you go to avoid having to go to work? What would you do? The extreme? Um, I would probably climb on top of a bridge with a purple wig and a megaphone and say that I'm not coming down till I talk to Oprah Winfrey. Okay, so do something crazy like you're psycho or something. <laughs> psycho, yes, yeah, psychotic, eh, it's all the same. Yeah. But, uh, an elementary school teacher in uh, Denver at a private school faked a bomb threat. Uh, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good one, I guess. Um, yeah. my I advice mean, would be do something that you love to do. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, so far as to say my aunt died, but I wouldn't fake a bomb threat. Bomb threats are, yeah, especially with, yeah, you know, you raise a good point because bomb threats and Al Qaeda and yeah. terrorism and all that is yeah, just, you just you know. don't want to do anything remotely involving a bomb these days. No, no, you know, and don't it's, don't even say the word. Don't, don't even, even say, say the word. You um, can't even say I got bombed last night. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. I have a Black Hawk in your freaking driveway. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for calling, Angela. Hang on, I need the address that you're at so I can send you your gift. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, God, it's, it's, um, uh, 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 uh. 80, what's 8200 Chester. Okay. Um, Suite 203, okay. Eaglewood, Colorado, 80112. Yes. And you got to send it to Dial Global. Hang on, Dial Global. Yeah, address it to Dial Global, Care of you. 80112. And how do you spell your last name? Otto, O-T-T-O. O-T-T-O. Oh, my God, I have a friend with that same last name. It's That's kind of weird. Yep. So 8200 Chester, Suite 203. Yeah. In, in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Okay, and eight zero one one two. Got it. Oh, All right. Well, you well, know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's not Chester. I'm sorry. Chester's the other street. It's I got eighty two hundred right. It's Akron. A K R O N. Akron. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Ten four, dude. Um. I got. I gotta go. I know you do. Talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Bye. Huh. That was odd. I call, call the 800 number. I got to call the local number. What happened, dude? Something got crossed wrong. I better shut this down for a sec till I figure it out.